Hey guys, Dabblelord17 back again with a new game that I picked up on the Steam sale. This is Gone Home. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this game. It was made by the Fulbright Company. Um, I'm pretty sure it was funded by Kickstarter. It's kind of like a point-and-click adventure game. Um, there's no action in it. It's all story, player-driven. Um, I honestly don't know much about it. But um, we're going to get right into it, and we're going to give it a shot. Got to make sure I do that. And uh, let's get right into it. And I do have my controller, so I'm going to be doing it with uh, walk using left stick, look around with right stick. Okay. Loading. So let's try it out, guys. I've heard some good stuff about this, so I'm um, kind of excited for this one. I like these kind of games. Stuff that makes you think. Um, I already stated that before with uh, Among the Sleep. That was a very, very well done game. The Fulbright Company. I love me some indie games. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Okay, so we play a female. Zenka. It's also coffee. Okay, so apparently we're, we're home. There's no driveway. We have some trees and blackness. That's good. All right, let me check the tag on here. Journals, map, items. All right, I am... Caitlin Greenbar, born December 73. Boarding pass from my year in Europe. Okay, so we were in Europe for a year. Okay, oh, these do. Okay, that zooms in. Those are Christmas lights. Grab the Christmas duck. Oh, there's a key. Thank you. Hello. Like, I don't know if this is going to be scary or not. Like, I don't, I didn't, I haven't read anything on this, so I'm going in blind, guys. Ooh. Yeah, I just like throwing stuff. Can I check my, ba my bags? No. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. Okay. Do that. Can we turn on some lights? Thank you. That's kind of creepy. Alright, well, let's start out over here. Here's a folder. Invoice. Wellspring Movers Incorporated. Terrence Green Bar. Eight kitchen boxes, master bed. Box five boxes, master bedroom. So they were moving. Dear Katie. So much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm at a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not going to let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. Okay, so they they moved here. They didn't move out of the house. They just recently moved in. Oh, 
author magazine, Stephen King. Freelancing tips and trips from the pros, a blank page, top 20. Okay. Can I put the toilet paper on the roll? Yeah, yeah! Toilet paper! Okay. There's a... What's this box? Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. So there's nothing interesting on that. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, what's in here? Towels. Anything over here? Towels. Yeah, you flush that toilet. Anything on this thing? No? Okay. Haha, -ha, I leave your water running. I don't think there's anything in there. I'm gonna shut that. We're gonna leave the water on, though. What's over here? Anything in here? There's a pencil. Itinerary. Worldwide timetable, June 1994. Katie's departure, 7694 to Amsterdam. That's a long time ago. Is that supposed... Like, is this supposed to be modern day? Have I been gone for that long? Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come to see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is... Because he had a Nintendo when we were little. <laughs> Fuck your phone. Sam, Kate, Mom, and Dad. It's kind of a creepy painting, yo. It's like... Hello. And uh, that's too, too spooky for me. All right, let's check the... Some, be there. Something bad happened. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport. Okay, and that, was, and that was like, from really me at the beginning of the game. Happen. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Hmm. Ooh, it's dark in here. This house. They got a big house. Uh, we're gonna check the other side first. I love how the water's still running in the bathroom. Janice Greenbrier. She's a conservationist. Okay. Grab the board game. Over the Alps, a novel traveling game. I don't need that. Anything in the boxes worth looking at? Goodfellow High School. Okay. So, our father's a writer and our mom's a conservationist. Okay. Nothing important there, I don't think. Anything in here? Oh, there's a note. Directions from work to new home. Left on grab tree, right on bullhorn exit. Force travel time, one hour and ten minutes. That's kind of out of the way, don't you think? Anything in here? Letters. Can I open the bottom one? Yes, I can. Anything down there? Okay, so we went in there. We'll leave that open just so I know that I've gone in there. Let's uh, turn this lamp on. And anything in here? Oh, there's another letter. 
Dear John, it's so good to hear from you again. Or Jen. Yeah, wow. Ooh, you need some more coffee, Derek. Uh, it's so good to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Remember the little dorm room we shared freshman year when we were... I heard something. I'll be safe if I shut the doors, right? This, like, this isn't supposed to be like a horror game, but the atmosphere in this is making me on edge, and I kind of don't like it. Like slender. Oh my god. Okay, let's get back to reading this note. Um, uh, fantasizing about our dream homes. I always said I wanted a mansion, yet you said you wanted a home in the woods. And look, we got bulls. Someday, somebody up there likes you. I could use some of some of that magic. Send me some lotto numbers and I'll play them. But I shouldn't be complaining about this good old split level that we've had since Bob got transferred into Winnipeg. We just got new vinyl siding. Jealous yet? Let me know if you ever want to trade places. So how are the girls doing? Has Kate left on her big European adventure yet? Speaking of jealous, right back soon. I miss you, Rumi. Carol. Nothing in there. Can I open the other side? And we're going to leave the lamp on. Yeah, I can, but let me see if I can... Maneuver this a little bit better. Anything in there? No. Anything on the shelf? Ooh, what's this? A holy Bible. We don't want that. Regional track and field finals. April 22nd, 1991. First place. Etch it, etch it in Mexico. Made in Mexico. Uh, 1990 girls 100 meter relay. So apparently I'm a track star. The tomb of use. Okay. Anything in there? Nope. Okay. Ooh, it's locked. Alright, we're going to stay on the first floor. I don't want to go upstairs yet. Water's still running in the bathroom. It's kind of funny. All right, let's go. Up. There we go. Press back or Y to check your location in the house. Okay. There's another note. Welcome, new student. We hope... God, you are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. They just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. Great. The Psycho House. Oh no! 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 Don't! Don't you do that to me, game. You did not tell me that that's what this game was gonna be. Don't do that to me. Paris. Hi, mom, dad, and Sam. I'm Paris. I've done many par Persian thing. Paris and Paris and thanks for printer. Uh, including eating La Pierre de Vignier and wearing a bray. I'm going to have lots of film developed when I get back, Sam. I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company. Since you are my favorite sister, love you all, Katie. Mom, Dad, and Sam, 1 Arbor Hill, Boone County, Oregon. Weird. Yeah. Now I'm really going to wait for Slenderman to come out and rip my fucking throat out. Pardon my French, guys, but... I'm going to pack the cards... Nope. 
Well, somebody was in the military. Obituary? Oscar Doc Manson. Uh, this is Boone County died peacefully in his home last week. Mr. Mason was born on September 8th. This is if he had a good for, for some reason. UA. Is that the guy who lived here before us? I hear a TV. Ooh, it is very dark in here. There we go. Let's turn on some lights. What is this? I can't tell if that's rain or if it's somebody walking. Benjamin Alman, the killing of JFK, a theory. You've seen the movie, now discover the truth. That's okay, no thank you. Pioneer, MSRP, 999. They say the jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialization, but sureness of purpose and dictation to craft, dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market for a combination, I'll be glad to know the Pioneer seems to be... Okay. You can do better. Back to basic center. What if JFK wasn't JFK? JFK. Alright, so my father was obviously a JFK assassination fanatic. Nothing. That's not nothing I can pick up. How about in here? Letters. Three ring binder. Can I open it? Ooh. Terrence. That's to my father. 1972. Dear Terrence, I write you on what I hope and imagine is a joyous occasion. News reaches me that you are newly married to a wonderful young woman. I have had more than a little time to something my past and my family and my thoughts to have often lingered on yours uh, someone in the years to come since we last met. Your marrying gives me much reassurance in this. You are always welcome on Arbor Hill. I will withstand if you... Oh, that's the guy that died. That's the guy's obituary that I just... Uh... John Russell opened his eyes and saw them. The stars twinkling as if he were lying in the grass of his family yard in Massachusetts, even though that place was a million miles away. No, he blinked. He blinked the sleep from his eyes and looked through the carbon re reinforced safety glass in the space station Archimedes. Yes, it was long away from home, but the future needed him. Jock Russell's head swam. He felt increasingly drunk despite not having touched a drop in hours. He vomited onto his feet, his bare feet, and stared. And he stared back for a moment, processing his sick toenails, scanning his bare shins, bare knees. He's completely naked. He looks up and meets his eye to a gorgeous blonde woman wearing a tight polymer fiber tunic. The fabric that strained seemed to contain her gorgeous bosom was abrogated with the phrase Master Transference Officer. Then he passed out. I wonder if the typing errors are purpose? John Russell had crossed the gap, the gap in time. Only messages have passed before, but now the man they needed him now more than ever. Changing the past was no longer good enough. The instructions from the council had been clear. What to procure, what to construct from it. How to assemble it. So he made the machine. How to transport him bodily across time. And now he stood there on the bridge of the starship Archimedes. Coma and the vessel became only he. He had saved the president's life twice before he could the nerve... I... Either, if there's a couple things you can draw from that with how the letterings, oh, I, I don't know that. So there's a combination to the drawer safe and the other side of the house is locked. We read that. 
the letter from the dead guy with the obituary that my father kept. Um... That's a good fan. Uh, electrical inspection form. Terrace green bar went over. Does the entire electrical system need codes? Yes. Are there wiring in houses technically up to safety and amateur requirements? However, multiple layers of wiring have been added into the structure over the last hundred years. The system is frequently unpredictable. Lights blink out for no clear reason. Pressure on floorboards and four frames disrupts circuit wire directly behind the surface. Properly rewiring the electrical system would be highly destructive to the walls, floor, and fixtures of the structure. After discussion with Mr. Greenbar, since there are no safety concerns, the issues will not be addressed. Black Cat Electrical, 1994. Okay, so they bought the house and there's electrical problems, which would explain why the liquors are... The liquors? Yes, the liquors. That explains the liquors. This is not Resident Evil. Anyway, guys, I'm going to cut the video off here. Um, I'm really enjoying this. I... Stop it. Stop it, I heard that. I really love these uh, make-your-own-story, make-your-own-conclusions-driven games. Um, the atmosphere in this is amazing. I'm really liking it so far. And uh, I'm just going to hit the pause button, not like it's going to help. But anyway, guys, as always, like, subscribe, and share. Leave some comments down below for me. Let me know what you want to see me play. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Peace. Open the door! Ah! Oh God! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh, you're a dick! <laughs>